This week, I made a giant Makey Makey inspired by some educators on our Facebook group. It's powered by a real Makey Makey. Everything that's conductive on a real Makey Makey is conductive on this giant Makey Makey. So the space, the arrows, the grounding strip, all of it. Check it out. Ready to make your own? Let's gather up supplies. A full list of everything you need is available on our instructions. The first thing you need to do is cut some cardboard circles. You'll use masking tape to measure, and then you'll need to get some of these canary cardboard scissors so that you can score your cardboard and cut out a circle with ease. To make your circle conductive, I use a glue stick to smoothly adhere foil to my cardboard. To place my new key press, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to mark my spots, push a copper bread through, and then do the same thing again on the key press. Make sure the copper bread is making a good connection to the foil on top of your key press. Take time now to label as you go on the back of your board. Use a printout of your arrow keys to get the exact measurement that you need to match your gigantic Makey Makey. Draw four arrows, cut them out, using your canary cardboard scissors, and it'll be a lot easier than trying to cut cardboard any other way. Make them conductive with foil, just as we did before. Remember that using a glue stick will make your conductive surface smooth. Use your heavy duty knife to mark the places where you're going to put your copper brads. I like to use the spots where the alligator clips would normally go on a Makey Makey. Don't forget to label each key press on the back of the board as you go. Create your ground or earth connection by measuring with a ruler and cutting out another long strip of cardboard. You'll cover it with foil just as you did with your key presses and use the copper brads to place it. Now that the giant Makey Makey looks like the front of a real Makey Makey, let's make the whole thing work just the same. Use a ruler to measure your circuit traces for each input or key press. Use that line you just drew to measure your hookup wire and start placing the wire from the brad to the matching key press on your Makey Makey. Once you've got it wired, it's time to plug in your USB and test it. A full tutorial for this project is available at labs.makeymakey.com and at Instructables. You'll find each step has many breakout videos, so go check it out. 